Hello, and welcome to Pendulum Dowsing and Tarot Reading with Lyman Holton. Today, we're going to have a reading. We're going to start out with tarot, three cards for the month of November for your zodiac sign. Are you ready? Let's get rolling. Okay, first what we're going to do is we're going to shuffle the cards. So, let's get the deck out here. Okay, keep my cards in a cloth to keep them clean, really. And we're going to start out our spread. I'm going to show you this from a top view, all right? So you get a better look at the cards. This tarot card reading is for the month of November for people who were born under the zodiac sign of Aquarius. And they were born between January 20th and February 18th. Here are the strengths and weaknesses of Aquarius. Now don't get your feelings hurt here and don't let your head get too big. Pro strengths are progressive, original, independent, humanitarian. Weaknesses, runs from emotional expression, temperamental, uncompromising, and aloof. Okay, so there you have it. Those are the strengths and weaknesses. Now we're going to do a three card draw. And I'm going to shuffle my cards. Cut them and shuffle them three times. There's number one. Number two. And here goes number three. Okay. Spread the cards out. Now this is kind of awkward because I don't have much room to work with here to keep the cards in view of the camera. So, have to work with that. Now, I'm going to use my left hand to draw three cards. I use the left hand because that's associated with the right hemisphere of my brain, which is the intuitive side of the brain. So, the first card will go right here. Second card, right here. And the third card, right here. And I put the cards back together here. And the remainder of the deck is set off to the side. There we go. Pull the three cards down here. I'm going to adjust the camera so that you have a better view of the cards.
There we go. So we have a three card spread. The first card represents what we need or what Aquarius people born under Aquarius need to let go of for the month of November. Let go. Need to know for the month of November. And the third is upcoming opportunity. So here's card number one. The tower. The tower. And we have the second card. What we need to know is represented, to, represented by the Five of Swords. The third card. Upcoming opportunity. Knight of Pentacles. Now, let's cover what the cards mean. The tower is destruction, false securities, trauma, chaos, breakdown, a wake-up call. The tower represents sudden change or upheaval. Most of the cards in the tarot imply gradual change, but the tower is a symbol of chaos and can sometimes indicate catastrophic change. The tower shows a quite chaotic scene. A tall tower atop a mountain is struck by lightning and catches fire. Two people have jumped from the tower. The 22 flames in the sky represent the 12 zodiac signs and the 10 points of the tree of life, reminding us that there is always divine intervention, even in times of chaos. So there's a lot there. To let go of, right? Uh, basically everything bad. Chaos, destruction, all of those sorts of negative things. Let them go. The next card. The Five of Swords represents cruelty, selfishness, unfairness, theft, dictator, ego, defeat, and retreating. The Five of Swords is indicative of conflict or disagreement with others. It resembles the fallout from winning a battle. So that's something that you need to know. Perhaps you're going to have some kind of a chaotic battle type thing and you need to recover from that. You need to know about it. You need to think about the fallout from winning a battle. Okay, so you can adjust your sights for that for November. And we have the third card that represents upcoming opportunity, Knight of Pentacles. Transition, reliable, analytical, trustworthy, stable, grounded. The Knight of Pentacles signifies efficient, hard work. It indicates consistency and commitment to achieving one's goals. That's a magnificent card for representing upcoming opportunity. This is a very nice, straightforward three card layout for the month of November. And that's about all I have to say about the cards. So at this time, I'll take my pendulum and do a double check here to make sure that I have given a good reading. Show me yes. And the pendulum goes into a counterclockwise circle indicating yes. Show me no.
and the pendulum goes into a clockwise circle showing no. Now the question. Have I given this tarot reading for the best of Aquarius for the month of November? Have I interpreted this spread of three cards correctly? Now, if you see my hand moving, that's because it's moving the pendulum. That's what moves the pendulum. My subconscious has the answers, and those answers are shown by how the pendulum swings. Now, the pendulum went into a no. All right. So, that means I need to check each card. So let me see, should I draw another card to replace the tower? No. Should I draw another card to replace the Five of Swords? Yes, I should draw another card. Should I draw another card to replace the Knight of Pentacles? No. All right then, I shall do as the pendulum says, and I will draw another card. What I'm going to do is simply cut the deck one time, take the top card, and replace this card. All right, now we have the lovers. So letting go, or what to let go, remains the same. Upcoming opportunity remains the same. And what you need to know is now represented, represented by the card, The Lovers. Relationships, love relationship, partnership, communication, choice. The lovers obviously represent love attraction and relationships the man and woman are symbolic of adam and eve in the garden of eden they are overseen by an angel blessing them and reminding them of heavenly influence behind them are two trees of temptation with a serpent perched in the tree behind the woman the serpent and the trees are symbols of temptation so for what we need to know is probably something to do with temptation. For the month of November, Aquarius, you need to know about temptation. Keep that on your mind to help guide you through the month. We'll do another quick double check with the pendulum. Has this three card spread? been correctly interpreted and is to the best interest of the querent Aquarius. And real quick it goes into a big old yes. All right Aquarius, we are finished. That wraps up the tarot reading for the month of November. I hope this turns out to be in your best interest you use it well, it's helpful, and I'll see you again very soon. Goodbye for now.